Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Reality Kingdom, where we talk all things reality TV or whatever. Purr. I'm your host, Pero. I'm joined by our wonderful co-host, Lily. How y'all doing? I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, other than Queen Mother leaving this episode, mm-hmm. you know, I think it was still a pretty great episode. A lot of things happened. We saw a crumbling in the Big Brother Alliance. I'm ready to get into it. Period. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to pull up the people. So. When we started off the episode, we hear TJ letting them know the new teams immediately. So these new teams get created, and here are the teams or whatever. We have, we have Tyson and Justine. We have Kayla and James. We have Tiffany and Cashel. We have Leo and Angela, Derek X and Tasha, Kylan and Sarah, Xavier, and Aza, David, and Kira. Who is these? Enzo and Alyssa. How? I'll do them last. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic and Shannon, Desi and Danny, and Ben and Shan. And lastly, we have Cinco and Kevin. The star crossed the lovers. Child, now, my shame sees that she gets paired up with Cinco and she she is immediately distraught. This girl is just already having a bad time of heart. Yeah. Time. And, and like, uh, like we mentioned, we have not watched Love Island like that. So I definitely don't know the beef, beef of what they've went through. I just know that they left the show together and now they're no longer together. But she clearly very much hates that man. I don't know why she was pressed to be partner with him. I mean, girl, it's one challenge. He definitely looks very competitive. I will be oh, a hey, okay. Mm-hmm. This is, it's clearly it's a, it's an open wound still. Like yeah, said it, they did say it was recent, and you can tell it's an open wound because she don't even know if she hates him, likes him, has a crush, is jealous or not. Because we will see later in the episode. Yeah, all the emotions come. The emotions do come. So, um, <clears throat> Justine is also someone who feels a little iffy about her partner because Tyson is the person who just put in and got out Celie, Celie, who Sally. was Justine's best. So Justine is kind of like, ooh, ah, mm, ah, but honestly, she needs to be happy too because Tyson ate that previous challenge the fuck up. Period. So we move along. We get a scene. <laughs> oh God, y'all, Tiffany Mitchell, mother. <laughs> uh, that woman is she stretching. Is else, I fear is stretching Cinco out. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, Tiffany. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, back in BB, Tiffany, <clears throat> Tiffany and Kylan. Well, we don't did. know. We don't know. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Oh, We're not gonna deep dive into that. But you know what? I'm here no, for it. Deep dive into that. I'm here for it because Cinco, uh-huh. that's the thing. One thing about Tiffany, she definitely knows how to pick them. Because she got Kylan, <laughs> Cinco. <laughs> Girl, this is a man, okay? Like, this uh, ain't nothing to play with. Because, ooh, like, literally, he's on his back. She got her legs stretching him out. They're in this position. Both of them tooted up. I don't know what's going on. It's a lot. And uh, in the middle of the villa, by the way, everybody can the, see it. And the girls are pressed down. Oh, now, the thing is, so there's a scene that cuts away from this of Shan... Desi, Sarah, Ben, and others. Tyson, basically all girls. of the Survivor Girls. Mm-hmm. And Shan is spilling all of this tea on Tiffany. Now, I'm gagged because I thought Tiffany and uh, Shan were sisters. I don't know. I thought the girls were besties, but clearly mm-hmm. Shan ain't besties with nobody but that money. So, <laughs> she's basically letting them know, yeah, Tiffany is the glue that holds Big Brother together, and Tiffany and Cinco has something outside of the game. Mm-hmm. And the girls basically started making fun of my sister. I'm mm-hmm. like, what is going on? Like, oh, my hey, like my hey. dad is giving jealousy, but no shade is giving jealous down. Oh, definitely, no. because if you look at the men in the villa, um, Cinco was definitely at the top of that. Woo-hoo. I'd be jealous too, I fear. Me? I'd be jealous. I, I want it for myself. So uh, basically, we get a Shan scene. Shan spills all the teeth. And Sarah is Sarah. Sarah's like, Shan spills all the tea. Shan is the newscaster for <laughs> us. 
Tan definitely gets all the information, gathers it up, and gives it to us. And we love that for her. Um, so we get a cute little scene for that, and that's cute or whatever. So we get a hint at the girls hating on Tiffany. Like, get a life. I don't right, know. Right, and this is shocking because if you know, we all know BB23. You know, she ran that house. She dominated that game. Clearly, the challenge is a different game. But it's like, girl, it's like, it's just, to me, it's just so funny because on another show, another girl is just dealing with hella jealousy, among other things, so. And it's just like, it, it's shocking that in another, literally back-to-back shows. It's a bunch of crazy. jealousy, jealousy. Olivia Rodrigo was ahead of her time. Go scream. Oh, my her. God. <laughs> um. So, we get to the motherfucking challenge. The challenge is called Shake Your Booty. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Some of these fucking <laughs> challenge names. I need them to go ahead. They be coming up with anything. Just saying anything, y'all. So, it's a buoy uh, hanging above the water. And the buoys hanging above the water are huge, and they have a bunch of tires on it, and they have a bunch of letters on there. The goal of the challenge is to jump on the buoy, grab um, up to five letters, jump off of the buoy, swim back, and then you have to make a bunch of words in crossword style. So the first, the team who makes the most crossword style words with the letters they receive will win the challenge. So you got to make the most words. Period. So um, you each get 20 minutes. Each team gets 20 minutes to complete the task, and whoever has the most um, wins, whoever has the least goes in. Period. My thing is, these challenge, and we saw on the challenge All Stars, it's very clear they keep trying to add the equalizer. So it's like, yeah, you jump on the buoy, but you have to get words and spell something out. And it's just like all of these mind games y'all playing with these people while they have these physical ass challenges. Last time you had to slide down a skyscraper and solve mouth problems. This time you have to jump on the buoy, and if you fall, you have to climb all the way back up this contraption and jump on it again. Mm-hmm. It's too much. And then, and then play uh Scrabble. And then play Scrabble. Me, I feel like it would have been a it would I would have I had a good partner, a good Desi, somebody who was eating the girls up because me, it would have been a struggle out there. So uh we start off or whatever, and they all just start going in, in groups in pairs. So Angela and Leo go and Colin and Sarah go at the same time. Angela and Leo are trying to, their strategy was to get one big long word mm-hmm. and then build off that long word. Initially, I was like, huh, Sway? But hey, it worked for them. I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. And then Tiffany on the sidelines coaching Kylan down. <laughs> hey, not one word he say, she said. After this, who go? Oz and Xavier go and James and Kayla go and tell. James literally dies. I don't James know what happens. Screaming. I have written down James is screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel bad. I, did he like belly slot? I didn't catch it. I literally, I was writing. I, I heard him screaming writing. and I looked up. I didn't, I don't know what happened. Like, so oh, I thought, I honestly thought he, had, he was going to get pulled out. Like, it sounded Me like too. he was dying. I'm glad he okay. I'm glad he's so good because he was definitely. <laughs> like, it was oh, like God. blood curdling scream. I was terrified. Yeah, mind you, he just got out the water. You know? Okay, but uh, after that, Alyssa and Enzo went and Dominic and Shannon went. Um, here go Dominic. And it's clearly alluding to something because this is the eighth time I done heard Dominic within two episodes. I'm not getting second place again. I'm not getting that I think, second place. I think that's his only storyline. Getting second. <laughs> That's no shade. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> so we just hear that, and that's literally it. Shan and Shan and Ben go, and Tiffany and who was Tiffany Martin? Cashel. Cashel go. So they go, they do their thing. Boom. And we get a random diary room that preludes to the fact that uh, Tyson would likely be putting in Mother and her partner because Tyson mentions that. He is slightly intimidated by Cashel because his muscle. I will say Cashel do look good. No shirt. Sure. Mm. Opinion. Um, <laughs> You're mad. Cashel writing on the walls, Kira, and and I love Kira, and I want to. It's like get on my knees and eat this pussy. Right? Like, sir, sir, how you Kira? Even Kira? Single? Last time I checked, she was with David from the uh, uh, Beach. Unless that was just a lie. Could have been. Way, she's, not with she's not with Cashel. So Cashel is girl in love. In love. 
But they still uh, do pretty good. Like I think they were in the lead after this competition. They did fine. They did really, really good. They got a lot of words. Um, after that, we get Derek X and Tasha, and then Cinco and Cache. And Cache is scared of water. So no, well, I was, I was confused. I was and confused because the the first time she went up there, she jumped and she fell. She fell in the water, right? Mm. The second time she went up there, she jumped on. She got the stuff, and then she was scared to jump. She got scared to. She got but it's scared like. To fall. You are it's, different. it's different to actively fall and then actually. I know, fall. but it's like <laughs> you already felt what it feels like. It, no, it's just, no, it's funny because she said specifically, I can't swim. Mm -hmm. But you already fell and knew and you got out of it. So maybe they ever, edited it weird. Maybe because it, it was not adding up. It was not adding up. <laughs> I was they had to, they had to no, no, Cinco. Damn! They names are so similar. Not really, yeah. but Cashel, <laughs> Cache, and then Cinco got a C and shit. So anyway, Cinco <laughs> has to coach Cache into uh jumping off of the thing. Cache is like, ooh. And Cinco said, Let it reminds me. Right it reminds me. What was that one couple on? I think on the challenge X's. There was an R.E. the one. Oh, and, I, I, Adam, Adam and, and Brittany. 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 Adam and Brittany. And he had to say like, I love you. And she pushed mm. through. It was given that. No. Was given. She was like. Oh, he needs me. He needs he me. Needs that me. is a man. That is a man. I uh, definitely, if Cinco told me to do something, I'm gonna do it. Cinco can say, "Get on your knees." <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop. Get on my knees. Oh God. So uh, after that, we get Tyson and Justine. Tyson, ah, hold on. Who they going to? And Kira and David. Oh, <laughs> Tyson. <laughs> Tyson. Like that's the thing. Like you, I thought honestly, like last episode, I thought it was a mixture of him being with Angela. With Angela. Me too. But like Tyson is just that girl. My thing mm -hmm. is, where was his energy in Survivor? Because he, yeah, I guess he did. He did win the comeback competition in um, Winners at he Work. He did. He did. Maybe I think it's Tyson is a little bit. I'm not trying to be. Let me. Maybe I should just not say it. Tyson isn't the youngest on the cast. No, so it's interesting he that he's eating it up. He also doesn't look like he's the most in shape. Like, that's the thing. Like, I think all these other guys, they look, you know, I feel like they look, they would be able to compete in these challenges better. Like, he hasn't, doesn't have the usual body frame for, like, someone who does well at the challenges. Uh -huh. So, he is definitely eating. I would love to see him, like, come on a regular thing, to be honest. Yes. So, Tyson literally goes up and down and gets 50 million letters. He goes back and forth. He basically get the whole alphabet. But now... Um, Unbeknownst, like no, no one, one asked, asked him, him to. Literally, Justine didn't even need it. She was like, like he brought back one stack and was like, "I'm going again." She was like, "Oh, okay." And literally, they were like, "Oh, sure." The audience and, was like, oh. and then he had a diary. He was like, "It's important when you." What he said, "When you walk up the competition, not to breathe as hard." And, and hard, not to show weakness. And I feel like as a fat person, I can definitely relate because all my fat people out there, y'all know, when you gotta walk up some stairs real quick, or let's say you finna link with a nigga and you got they got some stairs you gotta walk up and you breathing hard, you got that nose breathe, you gotta start breathing out that nose so the girls don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely I was here with him. I was here, I peeped, I peeped. <laughs> oh my god. No, also what happened during this round is David had a diary room. David <laughs> <laughs> anyway, had a diary room, and this is his first diary room, I fear. Um, and he says, um, I'm so glad that I get to go up here with Tyson because Tyson won the first challenge, so I can really determine um how I fare against uh the best. <laughs> and then they have a diary room with him falling. <laughs> and it's like he it's literally like, jumps and falls. Like it's like a little blink. <laughs> <laughs> no, CBS has been setting data up since BB21, and y'all are wrong for that. Y'all need to stop making that why man, is this man here? the last one thing. Why is he here? Why is he here? Do they need to stop? So then lastly, Danny and Desi go, and basically Danny is a beast and Desi and the beast, and they're basically like we finna be and they be And once again, we get a diary of Danny talking about his wife Kiki. And I've written down like Kiki gave this man a lot of advice. A lot of advice. Every time he Danny's diary room, he's like, you know, my wife said I, I love a man that listens to what his wife got to say. I know that's right. And Purr, Kiki. shout out to Kiki. Purr. Shout out to Kiki Purr. Uh <laughs> and no, and oh. look. And look, she low key spilled. Remember the last episode, she told him not to f with Shan, not Shan over here throwing all the girls under the bus. Mm -hmm. Para Kiki, Para. I know that's right. Period. So Kayla and James got last. 
like the losers they are. No and losers. they were already F because they're <laughs> the full Amazing Race team. So it's, uh, yeah. they were already in a terrible position until they last. Yeah. It was bad at the beginning. Kayla was like, ooh, I hope I get anybody but James or Leo. Anybody with James or Leo. Ooh. Played in their face. So it was already bad for them. And then Tyson and Justine won. So at this point, Tyson has $11,000. So if anybody ever beats him in elimination, it's over. That's the thing. And you know somebody's going to try to take it. Somebody's going to try and to take it. I would. And Justine has 6000 So Justine can now go to the final um, along with somebody else. Angela. Angela, Tyson, Justine are all qualified for the final at this point. Um, I already said that. So we get back to the villa. And immediately Tyson and Justine have a talk with Kayla and James. And this is how you know James is that girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, James is like, clearly... He said, let's cut the bullshit. Clearly, the shows are working with each other. Survivors work with like, come on now. Brothers work with each other. So our only option here between the three of us is Big Brother, because none of us are Big Brother. So um, the only Big Brother teams are Xavier and Ozza, and who are the other people? Enzo and Alyssa. Mm-hmm. And James said, however, just <sighs> I, wanted to, I wanted to run this by you really quick. I do have something in my notes. He said... <laughs> I see here that um, Michelle is teamed up with Tiffany, but did you really? I mean, he is love Island. And I knew as soon as he brought up Mother's name that he ain't gonna want to go against her. You know what, James? I, you know I can respect it. I respect you wanted to go up against the head honcho, and you took her out. But you have to do my sister like that. Ass. He got her ass. Off Alyssa there. was right there, babe. You could have took the chance. The guy get Alyssa probably would have won. And now listen, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I feel like this was a bad move for. I'll get more into a it. lot of people involved. All right, let me get more into it. So after James eats that up and suggests that he floats that idea, he also says Tiffany is the glue to the Big Brother team. Um, so watch out for her ass. Mm-hmm. So, which well, I do think is pretty uh, accurate because we know some shit happens later down the line, and and cl- clearly, that's the thing. It may not be true because Alyssa really snapped. I don't think there was. I don't think the. Gl- I don't think big. I think big brothers just didn't give a fuck. Like cl- yes, clearly, they Alyssa didn't. came in saying they wasn't fucking with them regardless. Exactly. Yeah. Clearly, don't give a fuck. <laughs> and Kyla never gave. A- Alyssa Tiffany was the only girl who gave a fuck. About the that, and I guess once that's- again. Uh, Tiffany going down as the selfless queen she is. Wow. Because the only diary room she has had is about protecting Big Brother. <coughs> I ain't got a fucking bitch. So, uh, we get a scene. <laughs> she go, is carrying oh, Tiffany, Tiffany the bed? Like, she can't walk. <laughs> why, why, why walk when a man can carry you? Her. Oh, and that, not only not only does he carry her to bed, it's not y'all. It's not no regular degular bed. He lifts this woman up, rises her. The way my pussy, I'm surprised she didn't drip pussy juice on this pan. My thing is, you telling him to leave? Get up here with me. I'm confused. Oh, <laughs> why am I going to sleep anyway? So he lifts her up into the bed, and child, Cache is damn near underneath them. Uh, no, quite literally, right there. And Cache, Cache is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cache is not happy about this. So she's walking away very annoyed. And she has a diary room and she says, Tiffany is, I don't know what she's doing. She's just playing this game. Like she's she's using her, she's using her uh womanly features to get around in this game. And mm. I just feel like I don't appreciate that. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. You don't appreciate that, or you don't appreciate she doing that with your man. Oh, because if she would have been doing that with Ben, I don't think you would have I don't think she would have her. And she knew that with Cash Out. My thing is, is from what we've seen, it's only been two episodes. We only seen how to do this with one person, and it's been Cinco. So now all of a sudden, she's just slutting around the whole villa. Oh. Mind you, you had several confessions about how you don't want this man. So I'm confused why Tiffany is in the crosshairs, but hey, we know. moved. I don't know. So after this, actually, we don't move. We stay on the topic because <laughs> So Cache talks to, to, to Kira, and Cache is like, uh, Kira, Tiffany, I just feel like she's a little bit intimidated by the women. I feel like she needs to, you know, get surround herself with a lot of the men. She's developing a close relationship with Michelle. She's also developing a relationship with Cinco. I didn't say nothing, but y'all know what I meant. 
And so Cache is pressed. And basically Cache and Kira kind of agreed that Tiffany can should go. Um boom. Tyson and Oh you going, girl. I don't know why I did that. That just pissed me the fuck off. Tyson mm. and Tiffany talk. Fuck. Anyways, Tyson and Tiffany talk, and Tyson is basically like, um, I'm a I'm a master master strategic genius, Tiffany's a master master strategic genius. We see each other. We good. So initially, Tyson was so good because he felt like Tiffany had a lot of control over the Big Brother um, players. And if she mm-hmm. has control over the Big Brother players, then um, she can help him out. You know, she can keep him safe within the Big Brother team. So at that point, he was like, me and Tiffany are good. I'm going to tell her she's safe. <laughs> so he talks to her about the situation they're in, how they basically have to pick one of the BBC. He's like, you want me to do Asa and um, Xavier or do you want me to do... Alyssa and Enzo. And honestly, Tiffany probably should have said either or because the way Xavier threw that girl to the all the way under the bus. Oh. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Tiffany really goes down as the selfless queen once again because for two episodes, she has spoken about wanting to keep people like DX, Xavier, Ozza, and Kyla in them safe. And in this episode, you know, after she, you know, kind of said, offers up Alyssa on a go, on a, on a silver platter, Alyssa kind of spies right back on her ass. Mm-hmm. And she goes to Xavier and says, "Um, why aren't you on your job, babe?" <laughs> Alyssa said, "I don't see you working." <laughs> I don't see. So Alyssa approached Xavier like she is one of his, like he is one of her Molly Bird employees. Mm-hmm. Said, Definitely. You need, to, you need to get it together on that chat. Hello. <laughs> she that said, "You're not moving fast enough for me." <laughs> Alyssa gradually sat him down. So she said, "Let's talk." She sat him down. She said, "Hey, um, I noticed that." You were assigned a task. <laughs> I was shaking. I was shaking the pile. <laughs> and Xavier immediately fell in line and said, "Hey, I got. I'm gonna do what I got. I'm gonna do what I got to do." The hell. So when we get to the arena, uh, for some reason they like flashback this time around. So we will go to the arena. We see that Tiffany and Cashel are going to be sent in by Justine. And Tyson, and this is when we get the flashback to actually see the conversation. So at this point, we see um, first Alyssa talk to who the fuck she talks to? Tyson. Tyson. And she's basically telling him, like, you know, Tiffany is queen mother. She ran my season. She'll run this season. You have mm-hmm. to get her out. And Tyson says, he's like, I the reason I was okay with not putting Tiffany in is because I thought she can control control her people. But clearly, her people don't give a fuck about her. So if that's the case, she can sure go. So basically, uh, he talked to um, Alyssa, and then Alyssa sent Xavier to go do his job. So he talked to Xavier, and Xavier and Alyssa both said, you can put that girl in. We don't give a damn. And Sasha was like, well, if she don't run them, then why do I need her? And it's like, and it's like this is exactly what we were talking about on Big Brother Girl. What is y'all doing? Uh, <laughs> and Xavier. Like, Tiffany has sat up here and has been selfless once again, trying to protect her allies. And Xavier was just, just like, well. Xavier. Come Xavier. On, Xavier. Xavier. She damn near gave you the money. And you got the oils here. I can't play in my sister face like this. And for what? Unbeknownst. Oh, Alyssa, who best believe y'all? I guarantee y'all, Alyssa don't stay loyal to that ass. Alyssa been dragging all four of them uh, cookout members. Or- but like that, but like that's my that's my thing. It's like literally. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even get into it. I can't even get into yeah. it. It doesn't, make, it doesn't make any sense. And now, after all of this, they're ruined because DX and Alyssa do not want to work with them. Shit, we know Colin got them. Look, point blank, period. Shit, like, come oh, on. Like, Xavier's gonna be out. Xavier's gonna be the fuck out because he done. What the fuck? He done played in his own face. We move. And then he know. This my thing, y'all. He know he done played in DX and in Alyssa's face already. He know Kylan was on that ass last season already. So what made him think that Tiffany needed to go when Tiffany's the only person from your season who likes you, son? Kylan was already on that ass, and you done played in Alyssa in the ass face. Tiffany was his main damn ally, and and honestly, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. So after this, we see Cache jealous ass. She goes to Justine. She tells Justine, I think Tiffany's going after the uh, Love Island girlies. Um, So we need to do what we need to do. Now, boom. This is why see, I feel you like... You see how they needed a whole army to take my bitch out? <laughs> <laughs> Period. Um, I think this was a horrible move on a lot of people's part. Xavier, T- 
terrible. Now, listen, it was good for Alyssa because she was going to go in. <laughs> so, Xavier, I think this was terrible. I think Tiffany was his closest ally in this game, genuinely. I think she was the person who could do the most for him in this game. I think this was horrible for Cache and for uh, Kira. First of all, Kira, Cache couldn't even do the challenge without writing your name on the wall. Low How is this good in. for you? Cache, if this is the one team up for grabs that has one of the Love Island people on it, why would you... My thing me? is, why go after your own numbers regardless? Exactly. That is just dumb. Google, so you can get out Tiffany because y'all are pressed down. Now, guess who's all solidified and all there? Survivor. Survivor. Survivor's the only team that has all its members. Well, you know, Amazing Race, only three people. Survivor is now the strongest team. Y'all took out multiple Love Island people are now gone. You just took out a Love Island person and a Big Brother person. You could have been good. Y'all could have just waited to take out Tiffany when she's paired with another Big Brother player. Y'all could have took out two Big Brother players this round. Two good players, possibly. You possibly could have took out Enzo and Alyssa, who are very strong players. Um, possibly. But they look like strong players. So, why? Why? I don't know. I just thought it was very dumb. But then again, Cache, I don't think the Love Island people are thinking on strategy for real they're being convinced of things that they shouldn't be being convinced of because basically they were convinced that it was smart to take out tiffany because she holds them together when really that really doesn't matter because and she did it first of all she didn't even if she held them together you could have got two of them out the two of the people in reference big brother you could have got two of them out instead but instead you got out the one who protects and holds them together. i don't know it's a numbers game i thought but anyways, from this, I don't see how Love Island can really succeed because they're clearly not all the way there. Okay. And they just took out one of their only numbers, which is one of the advantages they had was their numbers. So that was dumb. It's looking like Survivor finna run the game. Congratulations. You played yourself. You played yourself. So we get into the challenge. The challenge is they have to ride on some bicycles to create some light, to create some lights to light up. If you light and up two lights, then you are revealed a puzzle. No, a series of symbols to reassemble on the wall. Mm -hmm. And we've said this on the challenge All Stars 3. I don't know who is doing this at the challenge. Maybe bring it back for the eliminations. Where is the hall brawls? Where is the physical challenges? Why is these people not fighting each other? I really, feel like, I really feel like Tiffany would have flung Kayla if given the chance. Mm -hmm. And y'all mm -hmm. really said her. What is, what is this? What is this? Peloton biking? I was literally like, I was literally like, "Why? How Tiffany lose?" I was like, "I was like, how does Tiffany lose this challenge?" Because Girl, they're doing stationary bikes. Like that, that's how they're doing stationary bikes. Like what the fuck? So they have to pedal on the bike, uh, reveal a pattern, recreate the pattern three times. So if it had just been a one round challenge, Tiffany and Cashel would have won because they got the first point first. But uh, it was three points. Mm -hmm. So. James and Kayla got the second point, and then they started getting the momentum, the first and the second point. And they started getting momentum. The people were cheering them on because, you know, they was hating against Tiffany. Tiffany. It was like, yeah! And James and Kayla over there, ah, 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 ah. they really like bopping and booping to this fucking bike. So they got Mind it they done. Mind they lose. Child! So they got it done. <sighs> uh, and Tiffany and Castell are... And I just wanted to be said, I don't know if anyone, I don't know if anyone thought differently, but never, never mistake. Tiffany is still queen mother of CBS. She still holds the crown of the main girl of CBS. She came on here, got all these girls pressed. For what reason? These girls is half her age and she got them walking around here. Oh my God, Tiffany's gonna, uh, uh, y'all are mad. Y'all are mad. It took a whole army of y'all to take her out. Xavier, baby, I don't know what you were doing. And guess what? She's still going to come back and win Big Brother All-Stars. So now what? Now no, what? that's right. We will be seeing her on our screen soon. Very soon. Um, I will be tuning in. Car. Um, That was the episode. Okay, so, so next time they're going to shuffle the teams again. We're going to get new teams. I love the shuffling the teams. Things. I thought it was a great episode regardless of the uh, end. Pal the Peloton bike. Um, I thought it was a good episode. Sure. Yeah, I thought it was a good episode too. Other than Tiffany going home as well, like unnecessary, unneeded. I, I hate that it was so early in the season because I was really excited to see Tiffany on my screen again. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I honestly, I don't want her to come back for this because they played in her face on this, <laughs> and I think people are gonna try to question her, her, her intelligence, her mastermindness after this, which you cannot do. Two, two totally different games. Period. 
she's still the queen. The queen stays queen. Uh, she always stays queen. I think that's it. With that being said, bye. Bye. Uh, check out our other shit. We're doing BB24, unfortunately. And we're going to be covering the rest of the Challenge USA. So check that out. Follow us. Unfortunately. Uh,